one of the most fabled stories in all of rock and roll, and honestly, just one of the greatest stories of all time, period, is, of course, the timeless tale that while on tour with Motley Crue back in 1984, Ozzy Osbourne snorted an entire trail of ants at a hotel swimming pool, with the legend, of course, then becoming immortalized in the Crue's 2018 biopic, The Dirt. Now, in a brand new episode of the Osbournes podcast, Sharon Osborne says that she doesn't believe the story whatsoever, and she ends up calling Nikki Six an asshole. Let's take a closer look. Nikki first revealed this story in 2001 upon the release of the Dirt book, uh, which, by the way, if you've somehow not yet read, you absolutely have to. It's it's a must read and honestly far, far better uh, than the Netflix movie. Uh, but anyways, in one of the chapters, he writes the following. I handed Ozzy the straw and he walked over to a crack in the sidewalk and bent over it. I saw a long column of ants marching to a little dugout built where the pavement met the dirt. And as I thought, no, he wouldn't, he did. He put the straw to his nose, and with his bare white ass peeking out from under the dress like a sliced honeydew, sent the entire line of ants tickling up his nose with a single monstrous snort. He stood up, reared back his head, and concluded with a powerful right nostril sniff that probably sent a stray ant or two dripping down his throat. Then he hiked up the sundress, grabbed his d and pissed on the pavement. Without even looking at his growing audience, everyone on the tour was watching him while the old women and families on the pool deck were pretending not to. He knelt down and getting the dress soggy in the puddle, lapped it up. He didn't just flick it with his tongue. He took a half dozen long, lingering, and thorough strokes like a cat. Then he stood up and eyes blazing and mouth wet with urine, looked straight at me. Do that, six. Now, in the latest episode of the Osborne's podcast, Sharon discredits this wild story while also taking a jab at Nikki Six. Definitely not the first jab he's had. Uh, but anyways, she was asked by her and Ozzy's son, Jack, if the story is actually true, uh, to which she replied, I was not there, thank God. I used to try and stay away from Motley when they were with Ozzy. And I don't know. I honestly don't know. All I know is that I think it made their movie. And I want to know why. Now we're on the subject of why when they advertise their movie on Netflix, it's a picture of a guy imitating Ozzy. Why isn't the ad campaign a picture of Motley Crue? Why is it a picture of your father? To which Jack replied, well, I know. I know the answer to that. Because Ozzy Osbourne's bigger than Motley Crue. Prompting Ozzy to respond, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Let's move on. Sharon then finally concludes, the thing is, I just think it's an invasion. She then went on to call Six an asshole. After Ozzy said, no, he's not, Sharon countered with, yes, he fucking is. Ozzy then finally confirms that he did, in fact, snort the ants while he was drunk. Ever the truth teller that Nikki Six is, uh, he did reconfirm the incident in an interview with page six uh, when he was asked about it saying quote of course we were a wild young band and he kind of took us under his wing we thought we could compete with that but you can't with ozzy he won that might be the first time ever that nikki admits somebody did something better than he did while ozzy now confirms the story he did do an interview a while back where he didn't necessarily say that it didn't happen but also couldn't uh he couldn't confirm that it did happen, uh, telling the Pulse of Radio at the time. The 1984 tour was the most craziest tour I think I've ever done in my life. I don't remember it, but I remember I used to wake up every morning or come around thinking, what the fuck went on last night? I mean, everybody keeps asking me, hey, Ozzy, did you really snort a line of ants? You know what? The answer to that is, I don't know, but it's very possible. Sharon is not the only one to deny this wild story, though, as former Ozzy guitarist Jakey e. Lee, uh, who, by the way, has also put out some great records with Badlands and uh, his band Red Dragon Cartel. Uh, great stuff. Definitely worth your time if you're uh, unfamiliar. And if I recall, I think uh, he also said that at one point during the 80s, he was approached by Motley to replace Mick Mars. Uh, I believe it was Jakey e. Lee. Uh, anyways... He said that the story is not true whatsoever, and, you know, he was actually there during the incident. Uh, well, at least he was in the band at the time, 
Supposedly, he was uh, right there with everyone while all this was going down. But anyways, here is Jake's recollection of the event from a 2019 interview with Tone Talk. I was there, and I never saw ants. I was right there. He snorted a little spider. There was not a trail of fucking ants there. Tommy says it. Nikki says it. Ozzy says it. They were fucked up. I was not. I was just trying to get a fucking suntan. That's all I was doing. They were getting fucked up. Ozzy snorted a little tiny stupid spider that was crawling across. There was no ants. There was no fucking ants. I don't care what the other guys say. There was no ants. When further discussing the urine incident about Ozzy licking up his own piss, Jake added, Oh, that was true. It started with a contest. It was Nikki and it was Ozzy. I think it started in the pool. They were in the swimming pool and they kind of raced and of course Ozzy lost. And they had a push-up contest, and of course, Ozzy lost. Ozzy was getting tired of losing, and he stepped it up. I do remember at one point, Ozzy was sitting there. He got this weird look on his face. He was sitting on the concrete, and piss started flowing out underneath him. And he was obviously doing a lot of vitamins, because the urine was like lime green. So Nikki Six, I remember, pissed on the girl he was with. She was lounging. She was not happy about it. Ozzy pissed on the ground. Nikki saw that, and he went over and pissed on the girl that he was with in the lounge chair. And that's when Ozzy bent over and started licking his own green piss up. That's where I said, okay, I'm out of here. Not only is that happening, there's families on the other side of the pool. Children and mothers and fathers looking horrified like, what the fuck is going on over there? That is my recollection. And Ozzy snorted this little spider that was crawling across. There was no ants. It's a minor detail. Man, I swear to God, this fucking thing reads like a bad bedtime story that you read your kids or something. Oh my God, what a crazy, crazy story. You know, though, I'm not so sure how much you can really believe uh, what Ozzy or Nikki says, especially when they're recalling their drug haze uh, days. But honestly, let's be real. This is just one thing that doesn't need to be challenged, does not need to be argued, validated, nothing. The story is so epic, so grand, so let's just let sleeping dogs, or in this case, uh, pissing ants, lie. In other crew-related news, before we wrap this up, and this actually came out a few years ago, but apparently nobody remembers, nobody reads the uh, news, so it's actually just recently resurfaced uh, that at one point, Tommy Lee was drinking two gallons of vodka a day. In a recent appearance on Bill Maher's Club Random podcast, Tommy said, quote, alcohol is such a fucking weird one because fuck, it's just, it's easy to fall in love with the way it makes you feel, the way it makes you relax. And then all of a sudden you're like, fuck, I'm drinking two gallons of vodka a day. This is not, you're trying to kill yourself now. Yeah, two gallons of shit. I swear to you, dude, I swear to God. When asked how long he was drinking that much for, Tommy responded, fuck man, for a long time. Your liver is on crutches at that point. It's just barely functioning. All right, though, I gotta run. My fiance wants to pretend that I am Ozzy and she is the pool, although not the swimming pool, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, So I gotta go. But thanks so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks to Mammoth Headwear for sponsoring this video, where if you have a gigantic head like I do, you can go to their website, mammothheadwear.com. Use code Logan to check out for 10% off your order. And I will see you next time.